Well, thank you for joining us for another A&Q video. It's, it's fun to work through these questions and find answers and see what other questions come up along the way. And here's an interesting question. What does the Bible say about dinosaurs? Now, strictly speaking, the Bible doesn't say much of anything, if anything at all. Now, there are some passages in the book of Job, and they describe these huge creatures. You might have heard them called the Leviathan, the Behemoth. Now, some Christians, they point to these verses as evidence of dinosaurs in the Bible. And maybe that's true, but even if it's not, even if the Bible says nothing about dinosaurs, that shouldn't throw us, because there's plenty of creatures never mentioned in scripture. The Bible, it, it, it doesn't say anything about duck-billed platypuses or koala bears. There isn't a single mention of a zebra or a kangaroo, and we have to read the Bible on its own terms. And it's not a science textbook. It's not an exhaustive list of all the animals in creation. And yet the Bible is clear about one thing, every single aspect of creation from shooting stars, to the birds in the sky, to the insects scurrying along on the ground, and everything in between, it all comes from God. In Genesis 1, we read that in the beginning, God created, and the rest of the chapter, it goes on to talk about how the Creator God did just that. He creates the dry land and the sky and the oceans, and then He fills those spaces with creatures. And he creates out of love, with intention, and he sets men and women apart as his image bearers. He tasks us to rule over and care for the creation he loves. So when it comes to dinosaurs in the Bible, we don't really know for sure, but what we do know is that God created them. Everything we see in our world, in this galaxy, and all the galaxies beyond, it comes from the all-powerful, almighty creator. And get this, he is pursuing and inviting each of us into a relationship with him. Of course, this answer leads to other questions, like what is God's relationship or plan for creation? Or how do we have a relationship with God? Or this one, like what does it mean to bear God's image? Or how do we reconcile science and faith? Guys, those are fantastic questions. We've talked about some of those before, and we're gonna keep coming back to them in the videos that, that come after this one. So I hope you'll come back as we continue this journey and in the future, and feel free to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share it if it's helpful. We'll see you next time.